Part 12. We are going to continue with graphs in practical situations. You will find this on page 153 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Practical graphs, money and finance. Everyday situations can be represented in graph form. For example, to make the calculation of bills easier. Okay, let's look at an example. The graph shows the relationship between the number of units of electricity used and the total cost of the electricity bill. So that's N is the number of units used and that C is the total cost of the electricity bill. So use the graph to find the cost of the bill if 300 units are used. So basically, I just go to the units, I go to 300, I draw a straight line up, I go to this axis, and if you look there, it's one unit underneath 300, and 100 divided by 10, so every unit is just 10. So that's why 300 minus 10 will be 290. Okay, the number of units used when the bill is 3 to 5. Okay, now I go to the cost. So there is 300, 310, 320, 3 to 5 will be exactly in the middle there. And then as soon as he touch, I just go straight, 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 straight down. And it looks like exactly in the middle between 300 and 400. So that will be 350 units. Okay. Given that the relation is C equals PN plus Q. Now remember this is a straight line. Now what is the equation of a straight line? Y equals MX plus C. Now let's just compare. If you look at this, you can see the value of P is actually the value of M is actually representing the what? The gradient. And then you will see that the value of Q is actually the value of C and it represents the Y intercept. Okay, so let's just go to the question. So state, let's get this, state the value of Q and explain its significance. Now, the value of Q is the, the y-intercept. Now, if you look here, the y-intercept is there. So let's just go it a little bit higher. It's there. So basically, if I must read it down, I'm just going to, let's just count. So it will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It looks like it's on the dot. Let's just go up. It's on the dot 80. Now, what does it mean? It means the amount you have to pay even if you use no units. So it's the basic fee. So it's just for having the service you are paying that $80, even if you did not use any unit. Okay. So find the value of P. Now remember the value of P is M. It's the gradient. Now can you still remember? Let's just move it a little bit up. Can you still remember how did we use used uh, work out the gradient. So we just make a 90 degree triangle from any two points on the line. And then we work out, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger that you can see better. Then we are going to work out delta y. So, so remember, this was delta y. So I'm basically taking that value and I subtract that value and it looks like it's 210. There is the value. That's delta y. This will be delta x. So again, I'm taking this x value and I subtract that x value. So 400 minus 100, and that will give me 300. So that's delta x. And now, just to work out the gradient, so it's 210. Can you see that 210? Divide by this 300, and it's 0.7 dollar per unit. What does it mean? It means that it's the cost in dollar per unit of electricity use. So for every dollar, you are, every unit you are going to use, you're going to pay 70 cents or 0 0.7 dollar. Okay. And then the last one, uh, find the total cost of the bill if these units are used. Now I can use the formula. So basically, I'm just going to substitute. Now can you remember? It was C equals P N plus Q. 
So basically, I'm going to say C equals 0 0.7 N plus Q. I'm, I'm substituting that two values in. There is my straight line equation now. And now, I'm just going to fill it in. So 0 0.7. And now, how many units are used? Oh, it's quite a lot. And plus that basic fee. And if I'm going to work it out, let's just move this so that we can see. Mm, it's not want to, want to work to that side. So if we substitute, we are going to come to an answer of 850. That will be your total bill. Okay, let's just go to an example. Okay, I want you to do for me, try now... 16 and I want you to do number one stop the video and as soon as you are finished you can continue with the video okay. so let's start try now 16 okay let's just go through this again this is your rate can you remember your gradient so your cost per what something unit and this was your y-intercept, which was your fixed charge or your basic charge. Okay. So the graph shows how an electrician works out the bill of a job done. Okay. Use the graph to answer the question. So let's start with number A. What is the bill if the electrician works for five hours? So just go up, up, up. There. So if he works for five hours, the cost is going to be, can you see it's it's between six and eight hundred, so it will be seven hundred. That will be the cost. Okay, let's go to the next one, number B. For how long did he work if the bill is one thousand three hundred? Now, can you all see where is one? Let me just use a ruler. Can you see there? And then just go down. And how many hours did he work? He was working. Oh, let's just get that pen correct. 10 hours. Okay. This pen is not nice. Okay. So the lead number C, let's just go to number C. Um, what is the gradient of the, oh, let's just undo that. What is the gradient of the graph and what does it represent? Now, let's use this red triangle here. Can you see, basically, I can just, oh, let's just do this. I can just do this. Then remember, then remember, this is delta Y. And this is delta X. So if I look at delta Y and delta X. Okay, so let's just see this. This is 1,300 minus that 100. So it looks like 1,200. You can make a smaller triangle also. Okay, but this one, delta X, it looks like 10. So basically, I'm just going to say to work out M, that's the gradient, it's going to be delta Y over Delta X, which is going to give me 1, 2, 0, 0, divide by 10. And that's going to give me 120. What does this mean? That is the rate. So that is meaning it's going to cost me 120 per hour. So for every hour he's working, you're going to pay $120. Okay. Um, so what is the value of the intercept um, on the vertical axis and what does it represent? So if I look at that, what is that value? That value is going to be 100. And what does that re? That's the fixed charge. Which is right here. Oh, this pin is not working nice, but 
Okay, that's the fixed charge or the basic fee. Okay, and that is what he's going to, just for calling him out, you are going to pay that $100. And then for every hour that he works on, on what was it, the electrician, for every hour he works, he's going to charge you $120. Okay. 